how do you get ahead of 99% of cloud learners? Now, if we click on this video, chances are you're probably someone learning cloud or looking to start your journey. With AWS and cloud computing being one of the most in-demand tech careers, there's no surprise that there's a huge surge of people wanting to learn it. But the question is, how do you stand out from all the other job seekers who are trying to break into this industry? As a former AWS solutions architect, I've personally gone through the entire journey of getting certifications, building cloud projects, and interviewing for roles. I've also helped coach and mentor over 200 job seekers through one-on-one -on -one career consultations. And let me tell you, there are five things that the top 1% of candidates do to stand out. In this video, I'm going to share them with all of you, so make sure you stick around to the end. But before we get started, please give this video a like and comment down below what your cloud learning goal is. Are you someone looking to get hired this year or are you just trying to expand your skill set. I also have a weekly email newsletter called cloudbytes.ai where I share weekly tips on cloud and AI. So feel free to sign up to that as well. All right, let's just get right into it. Tip number one is to work with the end in mind. Try to picture yourself at the end of the journey. What does it look and feel like to achieve your goal? For example, imagine the excitement of getting a cloud certification and proudly posting about it on LinkedIn. That feeling of getting job offers from top companies and having the chance to choose the best one for yourself. Thinking about the end result will give you a clear vision and keep you pushing forward on the days you feel unmotivated. Because trust me, this journey isn't going to be easy and it's not going to be linear either. There's no guarantee that you'll pass your exams on the first try or get hired in the cloud after applying for the first 10 or even 20 jobs. You might have to redefine your goals from time to time, but having some sort of end goal will help you avoid wasting time on things that don't align with your objectives. What I mean by this is that if you want to, let's say, get hired as a cloud support engineer, then it doesn't make sense to spend hours and hours learning about machine learning algorithms. Yes, it's good to have a wide range of knowledge, but your core focus should be on the skills that are directly useful for the role. In this case, troubleshooting, debugging, cloud infrastructure, and customer service skills. And so take small steps every day, stay consistent, and always have your end goal in mind. Tip number two is to use AI to your advantage. Now we've all seen how much AI is starting to transform everything around us, from ChatGPT being used by over 200 million months the users to social media apps like Instagram and LinkedIn now incorporating generative AI. But I'm not going to sit here and pretend all these advancements are great. There are definitely some concerns and debates around AI taking over jobs and the potential long-term impact of AI on humanity. Instead of focusing on the negative though, the best thing to do now is to learn how to fully utilize AI so that we can work alongside it and use it to achieve our goals. With that being said, here are three of the best ways you can use ChatGPT to help you along your cloud learning journey. The first one is to use it as a career coach to help you create an optimized learning plan. Just like a human career coach, ChatGPT can analyze your skills and interests and use that to create a roadmap for you to achieve your goals. The second way is to use ChatGPT as a virtual study buddy. It can answer your questions, suggest resources, and even quiz you before your certification exams. And the third way you can use ChatGPT is for brainstorming and idea generation. For example, coming up with cloud project ideas. If you're interested in finding out more about how ChatGPT can help, check out my past video, How to Learn AWS Cloud Fast Using ChatGPT. There's also a whole bunch of other AI tools out there like AI code assistants, note-taking apps, and quiz bots. And so learning how to use those can help you get to the top 1% of cloud learners. All right, my third piece of advice is to build real-world projects. If you watched my other videos, you'll know that I'm a big advocate for gaining hands-on experience rather than just doing certifications. The reason for this is that at the end of the day, certification are just multiple choice quizzes and don't actually demonstrate to an employer that you have actual skills with working in the cloud. It might sound kind of harsh to say that certifications are completely useless, but without any formal practical experience, it will be very hard for you to land your first cloud job. Now, how can you actually start building projects and gaining those skills? What I recommend doing is to follow mini project tutorials to begin with. I have a course called Five Beginner AWS Cloud Projects, where I provide a complete step-by-step -step guide on building five beginner beginner friendly projects. The first one is a daily task scheduler application using Amazon Party Rock. Another one is an image labels generator using Amazon Recognition. There's also a text narrator application using Amazon Polly, a language translation bot using Amazon Lex, and finally a bucket list tracker application with AWS Amplify. I have all the steps, screenshots, and instructions included inside the course so that by the end of it, you'll have five projects you can showcase on your resume. I'll leave a link to the course in the description below with a pro 
promo code of YouTube10 for 10% off. Now, once you complete some of those mini projects, I would highly recommend challenging yourself to build bigger and more personalized projects. This could be something related to your current job or a personal interest. For example, you can build a website featuring your favorite food recipes and hosting it on AWS using services like Amazon S3, DynamoDB, and Lambda functions. You may also want to reach out to startups and offer to build a prototype of a cloud-based infrastructure for them. This will help you stand out from other cloud learners who might just have standard projects on their resume. Okay, tip number four is to stay up to date. This might sound like a generic tip that everyone tells you to do, but it's definitely a big factor in helping the top cloud learners stand out. AWS and other cloud providers are always rolling out new services and updates. To stay ahead, you've got to keep up with these changes. And here's what I recommend doing. First, follow the AWS blog and other cloud provider blogs. Subscribe to newsletters like cloudbytes.ai and AWS's What's New so that you can get email updates on services and learning tips right in your inbox. Next, consider attending conferences and meetups. You can check out the AWS events page for a full list of the major events coming up. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Azure and Google Cloud also have similar ones, so I'll link those as well. Meetup.com is also a great way to find local meetups near you. For example, I sometimes attend events hosted by the AWS Sydney user group. But if you don't live close to where events are typically hosted, there's a bunch of virtual ones which can be just as valuable. The third way to stay up to date is to be a content creator yourself. This doesn't have to be a huge commitment, but by simply sharing what you've learned through platforms like Medium or YouTube can help you solidify your understanding while helping others in the community. It's also a great way to create a learning portfolio and stand out to potential employers. To get started, I recommend picking a topic or service that you're interested in and creating a simple tutorial or walkthrough. And tip number five is to master the art of interviewing. Even with the right skills and certifications, landing a cloud job all comes down to how well you perform in interviews. Now, with cloud interviews, you can expect to be asked both technical and behavioral questions. So make sure you prepare for both. Here are my strategies to help you ace your interviews. So first, carefully review the job description and align your experiences and skills with the requirements. Be ready to discuss any specific projects you've worked on and how they relate to the job you're applying for. Next, practice common cloud interview questions. These might include questions on cloud fundamentals, specific AWS services, or scenario-based questions where you have to design a solution. Websites like Glassdoor can provide a good sense of the types of questions you might come across. For example, if you search for a cloud support engineer role, you'll be able to see a bunch of previous questions that candidates have submitted. And with the behavioral side of interviews, be prepared to talk about your problem-solving skills, demonstrate your communication abilities, and how you handle challenges and conflict. AWS, for example, has 16 leadership principles that they base their interview questions on. So make sure you familiarize yourself with those and have examples ready to share. To prepare for interviews, it'll be helpful for you to do mock interviews with friends or people you know from the industry. There's also platforms like interviewing.io that offer mock interviews with feedback. And if you'd like, you can even book a session with me through my career mentoring booking page and we can prepare for the interview together. To help you even further, I've created a course called AWS Interview Mastery, Get Hired in the Cloud. This course covers everything from job roles in the cloud, how to ace interviews, and hundreds of practice questions with examples. I've packed it with insider tips and strategies that I've personally used and what I've seen worked well for my mentees who have successfully landed jobs in the cloud. I'll put a link to it in the description below and you can use the code YouTube10 for 10% off. And there you have it, five strategies to help you get ahead of 99% of cloud learners. Best of luck on your journey and please let me know in the comments if you have any questions. All right, bye for now.